action. Okay, so it's week 12. Can you believe it? Um, we're going to be doing we're going to be doing module 10 on uh, Thursday in this class, and so we'll go through the course the uh, module project for that. It's fun. We're going to get into some business intelligence tools, power tools, that sort of thing. So. Um, uh, we'll cover that. Uh, but today is catch-up day, so uh, the, the only thing I want to show you is the way to calculate time. How many of you are using time in your course projects? Some form of time. Hours of sleep, yeah. What are you using? Okay. Okay. Um, and you, hours of sleep. So have you tried to plot time, like in a line chart? Well, it, it turns out that it's not so easy because Excel has a hard time with time. Um, it's just the way it is. I'll show you, I'll show you why in a second. So uh, that's, that's one resource. Um, uh, there's another resource that if you want to calculate time, like subtract time, like some people are, are calculating their bedtime and then their awake time, and then subtracting one from the other. But that's also tricky because most of us, our time um, goes for, it's, if it's on the same day, it's easy. But if it goes from one day to the next, like most of us do, if you go to sleep before midnight, right, and you wake up the next day, Excel has a hard time subtracting time that way too. Um, so anyway, there's, this is a little tutorial here that you can look at, and then I'm going to go through um, this one right now. Um, just, just a reminder, last Sunday what was due was your Module 9 SAM exam project, the course project workbook um, um, with your run charts. Thank you for those of you who submitted those. You guys are, are doing well. Um, uh, so remember, that's the that's the work that requires you to basically create a line chart, compute the median based on your baseline period. So um, just a few of you made the same mistake where you calculated the median for you, the entire period, um, and you want to you want to show that there's some improvement and you know they're doing something different during your solution period. So that's one thing, um, and. So anyway, that was what was due last Sunday. This Sunday, it'll be uh, Module 10, SAM exam and project. So um, yes, uh, we're also going to be, uh, I, I just need to give you a heads up. So the week of April here, so in uh, the week after next, on the 22nd, that Monday is Easter Monday. Right, so there's no school on Easter Monday. So that means there'll be no class, because um, I, I teach on Mondays and Wednesdays and Tuesdays and Thursdays, all the same class. And so in order to keep you guys consistent, there won't be any class on uh, the 23rd. Uh, um, and then the 24th and the 25th, I have to go out of, uh, I'm gonna be going out of town um, for this actually for almost this entire week. Um, I have to go back to uh, New York. Um, my daughter's turning uh, 18, and she got, uh, uh, I think she's going to choose uh, a college finally. She got accepted to a few, and she's been trying to figure out, you know, like which one to go to. And so she's uh, decided, I think she's almost decided um, uh, to go to Syracuse. You know where that is? New York, like upstate New York and far away from anything. Uh, <laughs> So, anyway, um, we'll see. So we have to go visit the school and you know make sure it's okay and all that. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we'll be doing. There won't be any. We won't be meeting. So you can use that time to catch up. Um, actually, this week I had already allotted to be uh, project uh, your project pre presentation preparation. So we'll do your presentations um, here on the thirtieth. And so what I suggest that you use this time for is uh, both getting ready for the, your project presentation and then also for your um, uh, your project presentation, which will take, uh, we're going to do that. We'll figure out when, 
going to do that later. Um, and then also getting ready for the certification because uh, I'm going to give you some videos and some practice exams that you'll be able to work on um, independently and that's supposed to simulate what it looks like. I think we just got free access to those, um, so it's kind of a nice little resource for you. Um, so you'll be able to practice taking um, the certification exam, get a feel for what it looks like, and you know where your where your strengths and opportunities for development are. Um, okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example of a presentation because what I I think what I'm going to do is I've been sort of you know using myself as a guinea pig. Um, and so I'll kind of pull it all together and I'll show, just show you, you know, an example, I'll put a video together, I think, if I have time, we'll see. Uh, but that's my plan. Um, so how to calculate time. Let me just open up the file here. You may want to do this too, if you have time in your, in your, um, course project. So this is just an old example here. Let me see if I got um, All right. So the trick to calc uh, plotting time is you have to convert time to a number. So like if you just want to show uh, this is a line chart with some data in it that I made up for hours slept. And there's not a run chart, it's a line chart because we don't have the median calculated. But um, if I wanted to create this, the equivalent of this chart, so I'm gonna actually start over here. And so here I've recorded time, like a lot of you are doing. So you can see here that um, the first night it was six hours and 45 minutes. Um, the next night was eight hours and five minutes and so on and so forth, right? So these are just time, times that you, uh, someone has slept. Um, if I go to plot this, oh, by the way, so when you type this in, so if I typed in um, 6, 45, colons 45, right? That's our normal way of, sh of showing time. Um, this is what happens. It will automatically format it to this custom format, 6.45 a.m. So Excel now thinks that it's either a.m. or it's six hours and 45 minutes. Either way, um, it gets stored um, in Excel. And the way, that it gets, the way that it gets stored is that it's, it becomes time, and time is stored as a fraction of a day. So six hours and 45 minutes is about how much of a day? A little over a quarter, right? So that's what gets recorded. So what you have to do, so anyway, if I try to plot this, well, this, look, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to go to insert, and I'll go to my recommended charts, and I can't find anything because there's no, it says there's no data. Well, I'm looking at data, but it's not charting it. The problem is, is that it doesn't, it says it doesn't contain any numbers, and the text cannot be summarized. So that's one of the reasons. That's what it, time is not a number in Excel. So you have to convert it to a number. So here's what you do. Um, I'm just going to um, create, so I'm going to create an equivalent column. So I'm just sticking it over here. And um, I might put, uh, you know, hours slept, maybe, you know, number, maybe we just put the number sign here. So um, I'm going to recreate, in order to get this data to reoccur here, to reappear here, what, what do I do? I just type equals, and then it's cell D2, D2, and, um, and now we have 645, and if I, f now I want to format this, I'll go back to the home, see it's custom formatted, um, let's see, how is it formatted, so it's custom formatted as hours and minutes, that's actually what we want, but we, we, need, to, we need to change it to a number, all right, so we'll leave two decimal places, and see it says the sample 0.28, that's about right. That's a little over a quarter of a day, right? So I'm going to say, okay. So now we have the 0.28. So in order to make it back into hours, how many hours are in a day? 
So it's 0.28 of 24 hours. And so when you say of, the mathematical, the arithmetic equivalent is what? Multiply times, right? So I'm going to multiply that times 24. And now it returns a number in terms of hours. It's 6.75 hours. So I'm going to, what's that? Yes, keep both, you have to keep both of them because what, if I delete this, yeah, right? So you always have to have that there as the source. So you're going to have to have like a phantom or a secondary column with your, with your numbers here. So let me just undo that. Um, so now this is what happens when I go to plot the data. I'm going to go to my insert tab and I'm going to choose, I can either choose a line chart or I always go to recommended charts. So I see a line chart here that I kind of like. And I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to move that over here so we can see now we're able to show a line chart. And if I want to show um, markers, I can go to Format Data, go to Letter Paint Bucket, Marker, Marker Options, and then get rid of it. Okay. So um, here we have a chart of you know dates. If I had dates here, these would the dates would appear down here. So here's 19 da data points here. Um, hours slept, right? So that's what you do, okay? So it's it's a little frustrating, and, and sometimes when you need to calculate, so for your pivot charts and your pivot tables and things like that, if you want to get data to appear, you're going to have to convert it. Um, and this is there's several ways, other ways to do it, but this is the easiest way to do it, I think. Does it make sense? That's fine. That's good. Then it's because it, then it's a number. Yeah. But some, some people are not doing that. And so uh, another thing that folks are doing is they'll put like the uh, maybe nap time, uh, you know, they'll record nap time. And so they'll record 45 and then minutes and then 55 minutes. And so what happens, so, and if you, if I wanted to get the average of these two things, I would type equals average. What do you think is going to happen when I try to do the average of these two cells? I get an error, right? Why, why is that? Yeah, because it, it doesn't know what this is. It doesn't think it's a number. So I got to get rid of the numbers there and the mins there. So if you have data that look like that, then you can get the, the calculation to work. So Excel and most programs need, it, need your data to be clean. Um, so that's it. Any questions with how to calculate and plot time? Yes. So I just brought that same information over. So I said equals D2. So that's the information where I have my time recorded in hours and minutes. And then um, I multiply that times 24 because it just returns. Excel records <laughs> the embedded uh, uh, information in a decimal, in a fraction of a day as 0.28. And you have to multiply that 0 0.28 times 24. So um, that's what I did. Yes, oh, and then I changed the format. So this is in custom format, hours and minutes. And then I changed the format to number format for all of these. Yeah, that's an important piece. So if I wanted to show minutes, what would I do? What would the formula be? So if I wanted to change this from hours to minutes, this might be a good test question. <laughs> if there's 24 hours in a day, how many minutes are there? 
24 times 60, exactly. Right, there's 60 minutes in, a, in an hour. Right, so then I could just, plot's gonna look the same, but it's now just showing it in minutes. Okay. Sometimes, so someone I think is doing, is, is literally looking at hours slept and minutes slept for napping, and so you can't really compare them because the charts look different. So I, I'm suggesting that you put them on the same scale. Either put all one on hours and uh, all of them on hours or all of them on, both of them on minutes, whichever makes more sense. So, so endeth the lesson.